Hello and welcome to Brain Linker. Myself Vishnu Radhan Pura. In the previous videos, I have started Core Java or Java Standard Edition tutorials, and parallelly, I am going to start Advanced Java concepts. But the prerequisite to this is that you should know Core Java concepts. If you are new to Java, then you should learn Java Standard Edition first. Then you can go with Advanced Java. I am also covering Java Standard Edition and I have uploaded some of the videos and later on I will upload more. You can learn from them. Let's start today's topic Java Networking. Let's spend 5 minutes in Network Basics. If you are familiar with computer networking concepts, then you know computers running on the internet communicate with different protocols like transport layer protocols such as TCP transmission control protocol and UDP user datagram protocol protocol is a set of rules that governs the communications between computers on network you can take computer as human and protocol is like humans who wants to communicate with each other must speak the same language computer communicates with each other using IP address a unique number for each and every computer and a port number. Port is endpoint of communication in an operating system that identifies a specific process or a type of network service. Our computer is multitasking that means we have multiple processes or services like HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol used in World Wide Web or FTP, File Transfer Protocol used to transfer computer files. So we need multiple ports and to identify each and every port obviously we need port number server is listening at different ports and the client knows host name of machine on which the server is running and port number on which server is listening port number is 16 bit number that means we have total 65536 different ports java.net package includes all the networking classes and interfaces first of all let's start with inet address class as every java class extends object class and inet address is not an exception inet address class also implements serializable interface serializable interface is implemented so that inet address object state can travel as bytes on the network this class represents internet protocol address. INET address is used when we knew host name and wanted to know corresponding IP address. INET address class doesn't have any constructor. Constructors are used to initialize objects. But how can we create and initialize objects of INET address class without constructors? In order to create and initialize object of INET address class, Java defines several factory methods. First one is static init address get localhost throws unknown host exception. Get localhost is a static method which returns IP address of local machine as init address object. Host name, as you know, is a label to a particular device on computer network. An unknown host exception is thrown when IP address of a host could not be determined. Second factory method is static inet address get by name string host name throws unknown host exception. Get by name is used to determine the IP address of a host that is specified in argument. Third factory method is static inet address array get all by name string host name throws unknown host exception sometimes a single host name represents multiple machines at that time this method comes into picture it returns all the addresses of each and every machine that has same host name as specified in argument now it's time to see other methods of init address class first one is boolean equals object object returns true if both inet address object has same address otherwise false you can use it in if condition to do specific task when both are same or different 
second one is byte array get address returns row address result is in network byte order which means most significant bit is stored first byte 0 and least significant bit at last third one is string get host name returns host name as string fourth one is string get host address returns host address as string boolean is multicast address returns true if multicast address multicast address means group of host under same IP address sixth one is string to string returns host name and IP address as string IP address has two different versions IPv4 and IPv6 so that INET address also has two subclasses INET4 address and INET6 address INET address class can support both versions of addresses now it's time to move towards notepad plus plus and practically apply these functions to save the time i have already written the code so that i will more focus on explanation rather than writing the code so the first statement is import statement import java.net dot inet address in order to use inet address class you will need to import it so java.net package has an address class then inet address methods throws an exception namely unknown host exception so you will need to import it also then public class inet demo name of the class is inet demo then public static void main as you know methods of inet address class might throw unknown host exception so you will need to enclose every statement in try block and a catch block to catch unknown host exception so that our program won't terminate abnormally then the first statement in try block inet address i demo this is not iphone product is equals to inet address dot get local host get local host is static method so it can be called by class name directly get local host returns data related to local machines like IP address and other stuff then the second statement inet address idemo1 is equals to inet address dot get by name www.google.com google.com is our host name and it returns the IP address and other stuff to idemo1 then inet address idemo2 inet address dot get by name again www.google.com we have used it two times so that we can use it in equals method then inet address array because get all by name returns all the IP addresses of each and every machine or computer that has a host name www.google.com then equals method it returns true if both of the inet address object has same IP address in this case it is same so it will print this message idemo1 has same address as idemo2 then get address method it will return objects IP address in network byte order means MSP will store in byte 0 and LSB will store at last then a simple message row address of Google then it will print row address of Google then host name of local machine as idemo is pointing to local machine and get host name returns host name then IP address of local machine it will print IP address of local machine get host address then we are checking whether www.google.com is multicast address 
it is not so it will not print this message then we are simply checking whether get all by name is working correctly or not then last method to string however here to string is redundant because println internally calls to string now let's run the program and see whether we compiled it correctly or not java c inet demo dot java java inet demo as you can see all the messages are printed idemo1 has same address as idemo2 idemo1 and 2 both has ip address of google then row address of google host name of local machine ip address of local machine then two string representation of object now if we modify it as Vishnu Radhan Pura then we compile it then run it as you can see our program will terminate normally because unknown host exception has occurred because it couldn't find the Vishnu Radhan Pura host name in the next video of advanced java series we are going to learn about sockets and other stuff until then this is vishnu radhanpura signing off thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe us goodbye